MicroStation Essentials, Extend and Trim Element. The Extend command allows you to adjust the endpoint of lines and arcs by extending them out to a point, either by a fixed distance or by using another element. Similarly, the Trim tool allows you to remove part of an element, such as a line or arc, by trimming it back a distance or to an element. Each tool has several settings and methods available. You want to use them when you need to modify the length of existing elements, like trimming back to a line. Let's see how these work. You're going to find these as well in the Modify Toolbox. And in the Modify Toolbox here, you'll find that there is the Extend Line, Trim to Intersection, Trim to Element, Trim Multiple, and IntelliTrim. Let's see how some of these work. We'll start with extend line. You'll notice that there's essentially two different types of tool settings here. You can specify a distance that you want to extend, and you can choose the other end when you choose an element to extend. So if I specify a distance, it'll put it on that element on the side that I choose. If I choose the from end option, then I can extend it from the end of the line. Instead of adding a delta distance, now I can now key in an absolute distance that I want this line to be, like 75. So, uh, extend, very straightforward command there, allowing you to do a variety of different types of extensions. It also works on line strings, for example, allowing you to extend those. And it works on arcs, so that I can extend the arc endpoint. The trim commands, you have trim to intersection, which allows you to trim two elements back to a common intersection. So I can use these two elements, and it trims it back to that intersection. Now, if I pick on this side, pick the element on the upper side, and on the right-hand side, it trims it back on that in that way. So it's up to me. I can choose this one and this one, or this one and this one to get a variety of different types of trims. You also have trim to element. This allows you to keep one element the way it is and trim another element back to it. <clears throat> so I'm going to choose the element that I want to uh, trim and here is my cutting element. Similarly, if I choose on the upper side, I want to keep this part and cut to there. Again, these also work with arc element types. Trim multiple allows you to do a couple of different things. You have options to trim and extend, to trim or just extend. So for example, I can choose to trim multiple by drawing a line or selecting and these are going to be the cutting elements and then I can select the geometry that I'd like to trim away. Alternatively, I can select the cutting element as this element, and then I can actually draw a line across the elements I want to trim back. You have the option also to extend and trim. 
So I can identify um, a couple of elements that I'd like to actually extend. Select my cutting edge or trim edge, and then again draw a line across the things that I want to either trim or extend. So there's the trim. Now I change it to trim and extend, and do the same thing over again, and I get both things happening at one time. As you can see, it also works on other element types. It'll definitely trim away the circle. So I can use this as my cutting edge and trim the circle. The IntelliTrim works essentially the same way. It has the ability for you to just choose uh, what you'd like to do. Um, do a trim, extend, or a cut, which is like the break at point. And again, you're going to select the element you want to trim to. And now again, you can just kind of draw a line, just like trim multiple, to choose what gets trimmed away. Similarly, it has the same options available for extend and for cut, like the break point, uh, break element at point. You have an advanced mode, which just simply allows you to choose what you want to select first. I want to select elements to trim first, or then I want, or I want to select uh, the cutting elements first. So, um, the trim element command and extend element command are very helpful to allow you to adjust the endpoints of lines and arcs. Extend allows you to make the line longer, whereas trim allows you to remove part of an element. Make sure you examine the tool settings for each one of these tools and take a look at the methods that you have available. And remember, you need to use them when you need to modify the length of existing elements.